Now the wintry weather prompting some Metro Atlanta school districts to go back to virtual learning. Others on a two hour delay this morning, including Atlanta Public Schools. Our Rebecca Schramm live in Midtown. And Rebecca, it's a big day for that school district. Older students returning to the classroom for the first time in almost a year. Yeah, it's the final phase of reopening, Karen. And you know what's interesting? The majority of students in middle and high schools here in the city of Atlanta are choosing to continue with remote learning. But those returning to the classroom seem happy to get out of the house. I'm um, pretty excited. It's good to be back at uh, school. 10th grader William Sanders is back at Grady High School for the first time in 11 months. This last phase of the return to in-person instruction for the city of Atlanta's middle and high school students did come with a two hour delay because of the potential for icy roads. I didn't expect it, but I actually had some homework to do in the morning, so I'm thankful for it. Ninth grade student Sartana Crawford tells me he was over virtual learning. Some students are better in Zoom, and some students are better in, up in person. And I'm one of the students that's better up in person because I like to um, do work on paper instead of on computer. Being at home has its own advantages. The schedule's more flexible. You get to like um, relax more, but there's no people around. It feels kind of lonely. When it comes to the percentage of students choosing in-person instruction, Grady with 41% is second only to North Atlanta High School, which has 52%. South Atlanta High School has 30% of students back in the classroom. All the other high schools in the city have 29% or lower. With so many students choosing to continue with virtual learning, spreading out during this pandemic shouldn't be too hard. We all have masks and we're all social distancing, so I think it'll be fine. <laughs> And crazy to think until today we hadn't seen middle and high school students on Atlanta public schools campuses since last March. Students returning tell me they hope to keep COVID-19 spread to a minimum so they won't have to return to home learning anytime soon. We're live in Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. What a big change, Rebecca, thank you.